Hi everybody, good afternoon to you. I greet you in peace and love and joy and all the good, 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 good things today. As you can see, my videoing is becoming a little bit more better. Bear with me. We will get there slowly but surely. We will get there slowly but surely. Our video in is getting a bit better. Bear with me. We'll get there slowly but surely. Today I am going to make this my son behind me, Manuel. Emmanuel. Yeah, hi. Today I'm gonna make burgers. Um chicken burger. My chicken burger is gonna be spicy and the kids' chicken burger is gonna be similar to McDonald's. I can see some glare in the camera, never mind that. And we're going to make some fudge, Trinidad style fudge, coconut fudge. So we've got coconut milk in the tin. We need a tin of condensed milk to go there. So we've got condensed milk and uh, we've got sugar behind here. So that's for the fudge. That's for our fudge. And what else we need? And we're going to do burgers. Let's find the burgers. So people, I hope everybody is doing fine. I hope everybody is blessed. I greet you all in peace and love and joy. All the good, 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 good things. I greet you all in all the good, good things. So we're going to use some, some quick, quick stuff. Ice and burgers. There's the other burgers. What the hell? Okay, so we've got these. Okay, we've got them. So we've got um, these burgers, chicken fillets from Iceland. Chicken fillets from Iceland. Let's get this over now. Yes, people, I hope everybody's doing fine. I am going to try to keep doing at least weekly videos at least weekly as I said um, this is a way for me to keep up with my family my nieces and my nephews who is abroad and far this is a way that you know you all can know what's going on in our blue life okay this is chicken fillets we're gonna put this in the oven with the four in here I think these kids, they waste a lot, so one each is enough. Because they already been to McDonald's and they had food from McDonald's. So, we don't need anything too heavy. And these are, for me, they are spicy. So we're gonna put this in the oven. And people, we are going to make some fudge, coconut fudge, Trinidad stand. So, we have got our stick, wooden stick. And we've got mm. our pot on the cooker. And you've got me. Yes, Manuel. So we're gonna open this now, Trinidad style as well, opening. What are they doing? Making burgers. Mm -hmm. And you have McDonald's. Can you put ketchup in my burger? Yeah. So we, I, I open it Trinidad style, so I'm gonna use my knife because I can't find any openers. And even when I do have the opener, mm -hmm. I don't use it because I'm so used to the Trinidad style. I'm so used to the Trinidad style, you know? So, we're gonna do it Trinidad style. Voila, open. 
what you should use an opener for safety if you're not you know if you don't know what you're doing it's, it could be a bit dangerous because you know it could be very sharp so be careful it's better to use an opener but I am a professional in the Trinidad styles so voila we got both of them open and what we do first we pour the coconut milk, the whole thing, all of it. We pour all of it in. Same thing with the condensed milk, all of it in. All of it in. Now, Condensed milk is very expensive, so you want to get all of your condensed milk in that pot. Now with the sugar, I think it's better if you get instructions with the sugar, better to get instructions. But I'm a professional, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm a professional since the last couple weeks, before I would measure. So I'm going to pour some sugar in there. We don't want it extra, extra sweet, so I'm not going to pour too much. I want it sweet, but not stupid sweet for diabetes. Not diabetes sweet. So, now there's still some condensed milk in there, so I'm going to, I want all the condensed milk in there, because as I said, condensed milk is expensive these days. It's like £2.19. It's like £2.20 for one tin of condensed milk. Is like almost $25 in Trinidad okay people so you need to empty all of it now if you have ginger or essence you can pour um, a bit of essence in here or if you have ginger you can create a piece of ginger in here I don't have any I'm gonna have a look but I don't think I have any ginger any essence Bye. none of that I got ginger, but uh, it's already blended. My ginger is already blended, which I made a medication with it for my children when they are sick. So I have no ginger, no essence, but that's fine because I like to taste the pure coconut. So let's get let's get some butter now. Some people put some butter inside of it, but I'm not going to put butter inside of it. What I do is I am going to put some butter on this tray, put some butter on this tray. So then when the fudge is almost ready to finish, when it's finished, when it's completed, then I would put the fudge on this tray so it will be easy to cut and remove without um, without sticking to the tray. Okay, so there we go. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna wash some salad. I'm gonna wash some lettuce and uh, prepare that for the burgers. So yes, people. We need some mayonnaise and let's get some lettuce work. So yes, people, I hope everybody is doing fine. My kids are getting very grown now and they are becoming their own little individuals. So I have got more time on my hand, which I decide to put into my spiritual journey, my spiritual life, and also to share my journey with you all via this channel so i'm going to be sharing a lot of you know stuff with you all as we go along i'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff with you all as we go along and uh, we're going to grow up this channel keep you updated with our life it's a good way to keep um up to date with our family it's a good way to keep real 
and for people to see what you are up to, not just people but your family. And I got nothing to hide, my life is quite transparent. I have told you all a lot of my stories of being abused and a lot of the stories I experienced with with um, sexual I have taken you all deep within my life already so what I am about to show you all as we go forward is nothing compared to what I have already shared with you all and as I said my kids are growing they're getting older so I've got a lot of time in my hand now to do what I love and what I want to do and uh, you know this channel doing these videos and talking about these topics that I've been talking about yeah it's 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 good for me it's my life and I enjoy it you know it's it's um therapy for me or and it's also encouraging to other people who are going through the same or have been through the same you know because these are things that people don't really like to talk about and discuss people are ashamed to discuss and talk about but when you've been through the valley of the shadow of death and you have you have overcome your story then becomes a testimony to others you know you can tell your story then and it, it can help other people and uh, i have been through the valley of the shadow of death and i've come out on the other side i give god thanks all glory to god almighty creator and i use my channel here to encourage other people who is going through the same having a hard life to encourage people to let you know that God do not judge you the way that people will judge you you know when people see me they a lot of people are very judgmental especially those who call themselves Christians and you know they are very judgmental they will watch you and they will judge you because of your necklace the beads the shells they will judge you because of your nose ring they will judge you because you smoke they will judge you because you have a glass of wine they will judge you but many of them they're doing worse than you so you need to have a personal relationship with the creator so then you will be judging you your own soul your own spirit will be your judge when you have a personal relationship with the creator so you wouldn't be able to do any wrong if you do any wrong your spirit would be so connected that you will judge you will be your first judge you know so this channel is to encourage people not to give up because you know i was there and i wish that there was somebody to encourage me not to give up And uh, when you're going through these journeys, it feels like there is nobody to encourage you not to give up. They all want to see you fail. Most of the people, they, they want to see you fail because I have come to realize in this life, there is love is not like how it used to be a long time ago. There is no love now. People love you because you're wearing Gucci because you got money and you can buy them something because you you got something people don't love you for who you are anymore they love you for what you have what you can give them how you can help them how they can use you they don't there is no genuine love anymore like how it used to be you know but people do not give up don't give up Remember, God is love, so don't give up. This is only Lucas Aid, Natalie is sober. Sober, sober, sober. We're not perfect. We are trying to deal. We have our own demons we are fighting, like the spirit of the smoking. The spirit of the smoke, we are dealing with that. Eventually, we will be no smoking. But we are dealing with that. Y'all are enjoying, y'all are, I'm taking y'all on the journey so y'all will see when that time comes. But for now, 
I am not allowing anybody to judge me. I already judge myself and I know smoking is not very good for my health. It's not good for my mentality. It's not good for my, none of nothing. I am aware of that. I've already judged myself. So once you've judged yourself, that's very important. So people can say what else they want to say. You've already judged yourself. You know what you have to do. So you're going to work on your problem. But some of them out there, <laughs> They know they're doing fornication with somebody else, but I know somebody man out there. And every night they're taking the man in the closet and they ain't even judging themselves. They're not even feeling bad, but they're coming to judge you who's smoking and who's drinking and who's doing some other thing, you know. But sin is sin, and people sin is sin. <laughs> so we are trying. We are trying to get off meat and we are trying to get off cigarette. These are two of the bad habits we have picked up along the journey in life. To cope with life. But one day, one day, as Trinidadians say, one day, one day, Congo tea. One day, one day, Congo tea. So I think my videos are getting a little bit more professional as we go along and eventually the world wasn't built in a day some people is gonna remain on the journey some people is gonna stop off at different bus stops it's all good this is what life is all about but the people who are meant to remain they will remain this is what it's all about but sometimes you take a vehicle or you take a plane and you are going somewhere sometimes you need to stop off at a different place and take a different transportation in order to continue your journey so there is some people who is going to be following this channel and some of them is going to come off at a different bus stop and take a different vehicle follow a different channel in order to continue their journey but for some people this would be their starting point so we are keeping it nice and fresh we are keeping it real we are sharing our journey and our life with you all and uh, we bound to reach our destiny we have to reach our destiny because we're moving with the I am. We're moving with the creator, God, and him alone. We don't have nothing else, no in-betweens, in between that. It's we and the creator, we walk in this road. He has led us this far, so he will continue the good job that he started. And trust me, he started a good job with Natalie. So he must, he's faithful to continue and finish the job that he started. So people... Put on your seatbelt. It's going to be a long, rough ride, okay? Get your seatbelt on. It's going to be an interesting, good ride. Make sure you are nice buckled up in the seatbelts, okay? It's going to be a nice ride. And uh, this is um, this is my reality. We're not doing no funny business. We don't have no obia man in between here. We don't have no special man in between. It's just me and my children and the Creator God Almighty. So I am gonna show y'all what God can do and what God cannot do. It does not exist. So you know God can do everything. You all have seen where the journey started. You all have seen all those videos I've done where police come to the house and stuff. That video is up as well. The evil ones have sent the police. We have that video up. At that time I was living in Cardiff. You all have seen the journey from Cardiff straight down to Sheffield. We are going to be touring Chesterfield. We are also going to be touring Nottingham. We are in England now, so we're going to be doing a lot of tours. 
and we are going to be taking you all with us. You know, I wish I could just jump. I wish I could do like the gypsies does and they have this caravan where they are going around the country and stuff and you know doing all these with their family they go with their family their children and stuff husband children wife and they go around touring and stuff eventually they're gonna get there but very it's um i want my children to get a good education so that's why i am staying put for now until the children goes on to um you know college and university when they go on to university then i would be more free to do the things that you know make my heart beat you know i would be able to do those things but for now we stay in put and we are putting we are sacrificing and putting the children first we are getting the children first let them get a good education so they can have a good life and then we can travel and you know do all the things we want to do which is all in alignment with god nothing dodgy no fishy thing we haven't got nothing we don't want to go back to the clubs we've done that nothing in that we don't want to do nothing that we used to do and wasn't good now it's about you know embracing the goodness of the world sharing love embracing people who have that love to share it's all about goodness now you know so we've learned all the lessons that we was meant to learn along life don't trust people be careful who you trust be careful of your children how to be a good mother how to stay at home and look after your children cook for your children we've learned all those you know lessons and we have applied them to our life but one life we got to live we have not explored the world as yet so we need to do a bit of traveling and see what's out there you know different countries and stuff we want to hit Barbados because I have a bit of Barbadian blood in us. My grandfather was um, a Bajan, Barbados, and my grandmother was from Tobago. That's on my father's side. So we got a bit of Bajan blood, and I have a bit of a few Bajan friends. So I would like to visit Barbados. And uh, you know, see where my my ancestors come from. And I would love to visit Egypt, and definitely an Atlanta in America because I've got family there, and nieces and nephews, and my brother, and all of that. So, eventually, as we go along in the journey, and God provides the funds, because as I said, what is that? for Jamaican. If God do not provide the funds, then we cannot do any movements. Because our whole life, everything... Manuel, move from there, please. Thank you. It's very hot. Move from there. Our whole life, we depend on God for all our needs and wants. Everything is dependent on God. So if God do not provide the funds, then we keep our tail quiet. When God wants us to move, he does provide the funds. We ain't going to sell out nothing. We ain't selling out not even with dog. We don't want nothing out the devil. We're not doing any any quick thing to get any magic money. None of that. So we have to depend on wait on the Lord people. So we're taking it easy. And when God keep us put, then we do what we have to do put because there's many things to do while you're at home. Okay. You know, like send the children to school. Okay sit and read with the children all sorts of things ironing cleaning washing painting washing up dishes cooking baking there's many things to do at home so when god keep us at home put we don't complain in whatever situation we have learned that in whatever situation you are in give god thanks and praise consider the lord in all your doings we have learned that so that's what we do consider the lord in all our doings 
So when we have money, we consider the Lord, and when we don't have money, we still consider the Lord. Everything is about God with Natalie. Yes, because it is the way he answers. And as I say, you don't have to be perfect, but go as you are, and he does work on you each and every day. Each and every day, he will work on you bit by bit, piece by piece. And before you know it, when you look back at even you, you will, you will be shocked at yourself. Because when you look back at yourself, you would say, but I used to do this. Why am I not doing this anymore? I have changed. You will be amazed at yourself, much less the people that is judging you. So don't worry about people. Go as you are. And God does work on you. Natalie used to rob man. Natalie don't rob no man anymore. Natalie have changed. Natalie used to be a lesbian. Natalie is not a lesbian anymore. You see, in them days when Natalie used to be doing them things, Natalie did not know that she could have connect to the source. She never knew she could have connect to God Almighty and, and manifest and create things, make things happen. She thought she had was to depend on a man because the woman that I grew up with they thought that was their mentality. They thought they had to depend on a man. That is why many of them have so many different baby fathers and stuff. I, I put myself in that bucket too because I follow after I follow after them. I thought I was right as well, but that's not the right thing to do, people. The young ones, that's not the right thing to do. It's better to live your life, take your time, and get married and do things the right way and keep your children with one husband. But as I said, I follow my elders and I see what they must do and I thought it was right. But one of the reasons they had used to have loads of different children with different baby daddies because they thought they needed to depend on those men. So if you add up Tom money and Dick money and Harry money, they are three different sets of money. But then after I grew up and I realized this is what's going on. This is the scene, what's going on. I decided to do it differently. I decided that I, myself, because I know God now, I don't need to be having Tom, Dick and Harry at all. I just need my good up brain and healthy, good health that God gave you and a connection with the Creator. Learn to pray and fast. And you're going to be making Tom, Dick, Harry, Peter, Paul, all of their money. You will be making it yourself. So you don't need them to violate you. And then come in your house and violate your damn children. Because most of the time when you have the Tom and the Dick and the Harrys, as a woman, single mother, they are coming to violate not just you but your children. They always have an ulterior motive. And I'm talking from, from history, from past. What a scene. My own father was one of those type of man. Because I told you all, my big sister, that was my daughter, and he violated she. So, because he knew my mother's situation. He knew my mother had about five kids before with previous baby daddies. So, from the time he realized that, he realized he had, he had a, um, he was onto something. He onto something. Not only did he get a mother, but he gets a daughter also. But when you settle yourself and you're married to one person, even if that person mess up, you could take that damn man to court and make him mind his children and mind you as well. Pay you all the money, you understand, until you sort yourself out. If you're married, you have more um, assurance. So people... As I said, I learned from my elders. I thought it was okay to have four children by three different daddies. Four children by four different daddies. I thought that was okay because that's what I saw my elders doing. But as I said, it's not okay because when you leave the first one and you go with the second one and you already have children, that second one, it is very likely that they can abuse your kids both boys and girls so it's very likely even if you're married the own biological father could do the same so don't get me wrong don't get me wrong at all 
So watch your children either way. So yes, people. A lot of things that, um, as I said, a lot of these um, ladies who was having all these different baby daddies and this life, it's because of money as well. But I realized I could make all that money myself. As I said, you don't need a man for these things. You can use your brain. There is women out here who's making more money than some men. There's women out here using their brain. And you're making legal money as well. Not no legit, I'm talking about legitimate money. Not no dodgy money. Not no illegal money. Legitimate money. By running a business, people. By running a business. I wanted to show you all the end of the fudge, but I don't know if we're going to get there because we've done 30 minutes in the video. And that is what I want. I wanted it to be 30 minutes and no longer because I want to go outside and mingle out with my children. But we're going to see how this goes. Let me check our burgers. Knowing my kids, I might have to put two more burgers in here. Because it's looking good. I might have to put two more burgers in here. So let's put some mayonnaise on this salad. So I tell these kids. I am going to make McDonald's burger and they still bought McDonald's. But for some reason, it don't fill them McDonald's. So they're still going to eat. For some reason, McDonald's don't really fill people. You are still hungry after. Their food tastes good. The children love it. But... They're hungry after, so I don't know what's going on with the McDonald's. What are they putting in that food? Like it's not real food. So our fudge is coming in. So it seems like you all will get to see my fudge. The end result. And then we are gone. And then I'm gone. It's a nice evening, so I'm going to take a walk in the park. And spend some time with the kids. The kids are growing so fast. And I'm so thankful. Thank God. They are becoming independent. You know. Learning to travel, learning to do stuff, learning to control their own bank cards. They are learning stuff, thank God. Yeah, it took me a while to do this fudge and get it perfect, people. It took a while to, to perfect this fudge. It took a while. You have to get it a certain thickness in order for it to be um, perfect, you know. My son asked me how to do fudge the other day. So my son, you're seeing. We use coconut milk, condensed milk, and some sugar. You must put those three items. You could um, decide how much sugar you want to put. Depends on how much sweetness you want. I did not put too much sugar in mine because it already have a whole tin of condensed milk. But you must put a bit of sugar to get your, to get, to, you know, fudge, to get a texture. So you can check with um, eBay, not eBay, hear me eBay. You can check with YouTube for the, or the internet for the right amount of um, ingredients, sugar you meant to put. 
Now, I have bought the fudge in the UK. UK fudge I have bought, but it's like toffee. The fudge out here, they say it's coconut fudge, but it's like toffee. Close it up, please, Manny. It tastes like toffee. It sticks in your teeth and it's like toffee. But Trinidad fudge, it melts in your mouth. So that's why I like my Trinidad fudge. It's like you just take one bite and it melts in your, mouth, in your mouth. It just melts on your tongue. There is no nothing to stick up in your teeth like toffee. If we want toffee, we buy toffee. We ask for coconut fudge. And they're giving us some kind of toffee thing. So that is why I have to make my own fudge. You know, any I don't complain too much. If I buy something and it's not the way that I want it, I know how to make it. You know what I mean? I know how to make stuff, but it's just that in this country, a lot of people become lazy. You don't want to make stuff because you can just buy it. But as I said, some of the stuff that you're going to buy, it don't taste like what you are used to in Trini. And we want the Trinidad style fudge. We want that thing to melt on our tongue because after all, condensed milk is expensive. And we did not put a whole tin of condensed milk in here for no reason. And we didn't put a whole tin of coconut milk for no reason. It's so that it can melt on your tongue. It's already sweet, so you don't want it to stick up in your damn teeth like toffee. You want it to just melt on your tongue, you know what I mean? In case you are naughty at night and you decide you have already brushed your teeth and you just fancy something sweet, you don't have to worry about nothing sticking in your teeth. It melts on your tongue. So, we are making this fudge here. We are almost completed. It's coming in. It's getting to the nice thickness brownness thickness that it meant to right now it's at the toffee stage it's at a toffee stage right now toffee stage so you can get toffee right now if you pull it out maybe that's what they do but we don't want toffee we want um fudge so we're gonna keep going a bit and then I'm going to call my daughter here so she can um, help me to empty it. Then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the tray and then I'm going to say goodbye. So it seems like we're going to go to an hour here. It seems like we're going to go to an hour. And then we shall do some ironing after. We need to do some ironing and prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to take you all through Chesterfield Market. We're going to go to the market tomorrow. Because and see what is out there. Because summer is almost around the corner. You can see the weather is changing. So let's see what's the styles and fashion for the summer. The cheap designers. Yeah, we'll check out the cheap design, I guess, and see what's wearing and what's not wearing, what's out there. So we are coming in, Fudge. Fudge is coming in, people. And most likely, you should use a non stick pot. This is what we are getting now. We are, we, we, we're getting better. You use a non stick pot. A non stick pot is better to use. Oh my burgers! Dang! Oh my burgers almost get murdered. They almost got murdered. 
almost would have been murdered. Almost got murdered. They almost got murdered. Almost got murdered without a return. Right, they almost RIP'd. Almost. Let's slow down this now and get ready. Alia, come. There's two tooths in the line. What's it? What's it? What's it? Yeah. Come and help me to pour this. I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah, wash your hands quickly. So we're going to pour this fudge now, people. It's uh, coming in really nice. Let them see this, the fudge. Yeah. So this is my daughter, Alia. We're going to pour this fudge. Pour the stick, Alia. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. oh. No? Go ahead. It's quickly. It's quickly, Alia. It's quickly. Shut up, Alia. Man, you want to knock off the stove? Put it on the ceiling. Knock off the what? The cooker. Stone. Oh. Just knock it off on zero, please. Put all on zero. Don't touch down there, Alia. Sorry, just make sure it all gets in there. Is, okay, thanks. That will do. How many spoon, please? I don't know how to do How many spoon? It's just on zero. So, people, this is it here yeah, on a tree. Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. We want to flatten it out so we can get more pieces. Yes. Right, sure, bye. Bye. Hi, people. Hi, people. I'm the best child. I hope you have a good day. Flashlight. Right, so we're gonna scrape the pot out. It's very thick. And you're gonna leave it to dry for a while. Yes. You have to leave it for to dry for a few minutes but before it completely dry you are going to yes. cut it in the shapes you want it to because it once it's dry you cannot cut it anymore it's going to become very hard yes at first it won't be that hard but hard but soft hard to cut but soft on your tongue And all you know, I'm gonna Mom, scrape gonna everything out. A bit hard to do. Bye, Manuel. Okay. I'm gonna try to scrape everything out because the ingredients is very expensive. We don't want to waste nothing. I don't believe in wasting. I remember those days in Trinidad where we went without food. So I don't like to waste nothing. So we scrape everything out. Good. Hi, you Hi, Mum's fan. So, a good day. I like Mum was a very good cook. So, listen to your message. So, there we are. We've finished. Yeah, completed. 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 So what we do now, we have it on a tray, it should be more smooth, but that's okay, it's only for me and my children, we're not going to sell this to anyone, but while it is um, cooling down, you can put it more in shape, that's what I'm doing now, you can use your hand and put it more in shape while it's cooling, because right now it's still warm, but I'm able to touch it, so I am putting it more in shape as it dries and then I'm going to cut it in squares and because I have already put butter on the tray 
some people they put butter on it in the end as well but I did not I did not but because I've already put butter on my tray it will be very easy for me to cut You don't want to cut it while it's soft because it's going to stick on the fork and you don't want to cut it when it is rock hard neither so you need to know when to cut it at the perfect time for now that's not the perfect time to cut it it's still cooling down so there we go people we've got fudge we've done our fudge there we go we're going to have a burger. And slice this fudge up. Right, let's um, do some burgers. Emmanuel here. Where's the ketchup? So we're doing some burgers. Yes, burgers. Yeah, yeah. So very good. Call her, yes, burgers. Yes, people, it was nice doing this video. It really lasted almost an hour. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot more videos like these so you all can see a bit of what we're up to. Sometimes we'll be doing painting and decorating, sometimes we'll be traveling. A bit of our life. So there we go, people. Bye, here, Alia. Mm. Wash your hands. Bye, people. Peace and love. Joy, all the good things. Lovely. Absolutely. Mm, lovely. Shine. Ready to cut. Peace and love, joy, prosperity, all the good things. Whatever your situation, do not give up. Trust in God. Hang in there, it's going to get better. Trust that. I never thought my situation would have get better, but from the time you got God involved in the mix, things is going to change. Don't be envious of anybody and what people have because you do not know what people is doing, the sacrifices they are making to get what they want. Make your own sacrifices, sacrifice, and wait on the Lord. Because whatever comes from the Lord, it is absolutely sweet. You get to enjoy it with your loved ones but when you take shortcuts when you take shortcuts 
you will not get there and if you get there you're gonna lose a few of your teammates your loved ones along the way because with that devil you will always have to pay a price nothing is free he gives you one thing he gives you one pound and he takes away 10 pounds from you so do not be deceived my people the young ones trust in the lord you got baby problem baby daddy problems trust in the lord find a relationship in god and watch how god will come tonight and give you revelations and dreams how to come out of your situation he will show you how to do business in your dreams so that you can come out of your situation he will send people to meet you at your situation where you are to help you come out of your situation god is the answer my people and not the type of God that, not the religious type of God, I'm talking about a personal relationship type of God. The one that you have a personal relationship with the Creator. Uh -huh. Not the religious type. Because the religious type, a lot of people would not fit in the religious type. Because you might have on earrings, some of them religion. They will discriminate you because you wear gold, because you wear jewelry, because you wear earring, because you wear pants. You will be discriminated. This is why you need to know who you are and to find a personal relationship with God. So therefore, the people discrimination would not move you. You would not be moved regardless of what they say. You will be strong and walk in your power in your authority regardless of what people like yourself will say about you because these people they are using the toilet just like you they're doing everything just like you so they have no right to say nothing so people be be strong don't give up keep the faith Peace, love, joy, prosperity, all the good things, blessings. We will be back tomorrow. God bless. Mm, peace and love. I see.